back to another YouTube video. If you're new, my name's Lauren. Starting off a vlog, I'm getting ready right now. Don't really have any plans right now, if I'm being honest. We're trying to figure out something to do later today slash tonight. But by the way, I'm getting ready in this bathroom. I have literally all my makeup and stuff because Christian has a friend in town. So I get ready in the other bathroom regularly like on a daily basis all of my stuff is in there except for a few things that are in here like things that i need for showering i shower in here i don't shower in that other bathroom but like all my makeup and skincare is in that other bathroom so i brought it all in here so that way i'm not like getting ready or like he can just have that bathroom to himself it's saturday if i'm being honest i just feel like I'm so ready for a vacation I and this is why it's so important to like book something even if it's something small just like a getaway for a weekend for yourself because one thing is is like I as a person am very routine oriented and that's where I thrive and it makes me feel like safe like mentally safe having a routine to follow and I don't know I'm just like always been that way I've always loved a routine helps keep me on track I feel healthy and my best when I'm like on a routine so I have just been in this routine for too long that I need like I need a break I feel like my life feels a little bit repetitive right now I feel like I'm doing the same things you know work Monday through Friday weekend like it, i just feel like i'm in like the same i feel like i'm doing the same thing over and over again and it's not good for like a long period of time like a routine is only good for a certain period of time before you're like okay like i'm going crazy i just really can't wait to go away to rosemary beach for a weekend and then i just really can't wait to get out and experience something new and just break this routine, this cycle that I'm in, um, because it just feels like it's the same thing every day, if I'm being honest. So that's just where I'm at right now. I've been feeling like this for like a little bit over a week, where like the last last week I, like the week that I just had at work, just feel like it's the same thing every single day. I'm like, just, you know, I need, a change i need to switch up i need something new so it's so important to yes like have something that makes you feel grounded on a weekly basis whether that's a routine or whatever but it's also very important for your mental health and your overall well-being to break that and get out of it for a little bit and then come back and that always makes me feel a little bit more motivated when coming back because you're not doing the routine for so long and then you come back to it and you're like, oh, it's refreshing. It's like, I need this. I need this to feel like structured again. So I don't know. That's just, that's where my head's at right now. Next weekend, I'll probably be prepping for Rosemary because we go to Rosemary Beach in two weeks. And then literally in four weeks, we'll be in Italy, which is so crazy. So next weekend is basically next weekend I'm going to be prepping for Rosemary, then we have Rosemary, then I'm going to be prepping for Italy, and then we have Italy. So this is like my last weekend to like not be prepping for something or preparing or anything. So just really exciting things that you guys are probably sick of me talking about or whatever, but I've just been literally saving and planning for Italy since December. And it's just exciting to have it like all just come together. So that's what's like going on in my head right now. Um, just, I'm just like sick of my routine right now. And I just need a little bit of a change from it. And good news is that I have like trips to kind of take me out of this routine and they're to places that I've never been to. Here's your reminder, switch things up. Don't be afraid to break away from a routine. I do have something to show you guys that's like so fun that I got for um, the Rosemary Beach trip. 
I'll show you when I'm done with my makeup and getting ready. But it's such a cute idea and I'm obsessed with it. So I'm so excited to show you guys and um, tell you about it because I think it's so cute and such like a good idea for like trips or certain like moments that you are traveling or like moments that you want to remember in like a different way. I don't know how to describe it. But I think it's like such a cute idea. So I'll share when I'm done getting ready. Okay, I just finished getting ready and I wanted to share these just in case it interests you guys, but I got these cups made for my upcoming trip with our group of friends. It's like a couple's trip. So I got these custom cups made for the trip and my mom and dad actually did this growing up. Not cups like this for certain trips. I actually think I have one in my cabinet. Here's a specific one. My dad is the coolest person I, I honestly know. He had a lot of hobbies. He's turning 81 this year, but um, we used to have a plane that looked just like this and he used to fly us to the Bahamas, to different places. He just picked up on stuff like that. Um, he has built me shelves, bookshelves, my desk in my childhood room, just the coolest person. And we have a boat in Vero Beach and we also have a cup with the boat on it that says the Chardonnay, which was my mom and dad's favorite wine. It actually still is my dad's favorite type of wine. So we had these cups made with the plane on it, which we don't have anymore, but um, just like a part of, I guess, my childhood and my dad's life. And that's kind of where I got the idea from, just because my mom used to get cups like this made all the time, and we still have a ton of them. So that's kind of where the idea came from. And I just wanted to do something fun because we haven't taken a friend's trip in a couple of years and we're all getting together and going to Rosemary. So I wanted to get everyone like cups that we could use for cocktails at the house, coffee, obviously iced coffee, and a cup that they can take home with them. So each couple will get like four or five of these little cups. They could honestly throw them out or do whatever they want with them. But I just thought it was such a cute idea. And you can kind of pick out a design. You can also submit certain designs. This one was a template already on their website and I just thought the beach chairs with the umbrella was cute. And I just put friends trip, August 2023, Rosemary Beach, Florida. I've seen people actually do this for like weddings and stuff, just as like a little keepsake, but I thought this was something that we could all just enjoy and then take home with us and use it at home for like to go drinks or to go coffee, whatever you want, or just little cups around the house. I just think it's the cutest little idea to kind of have a memory of a certain trip or something. So I got these. I thought it only came with 15 cups, but it actually came with a lot more and yeah i'm excited they just came in i ordered them a month ago and i've kind of had the idea for a couple of months to do it and it kind of takes about a month to come in so how it works is you kind of pick out a template or you can send in what you want pick the color and what you want it to say and then through email they send you an example of what your cup would look like and you approve it and then it just goes into production and then they ship it to you so i'm obsessed with them i can't wait to use them and have them. I think it's just a cute way to, I don't know, just like for like little fun trips with friends and I won't do this for Italy or anything, but like group trips or things like that. I think it's such a cute idea. So I'll link it down below. Just wanted to share, I thought it was so cute. <laughs> I'm also wearing these really cute biker shorts that I got from Cuts and this Anina Bing. I know a lot of people say Anine or Anine. I think it's Anina. Bing sweatshirt. These are the biker shorts. They're kind of thicker of a ribs material, so I think they'd be perfect for transitioning into like fall. And I mean, they're still good for summer, but I would not work out in them. I just think they're kind of different of a biker short, and I don't have anything like them. So I'm making a little afternoon coffee, which is so bad. I've been in this bad habit this week of afternoon caffeine and usually i'm good and i only do like one coffee a day i don't know what it was 
One thing that I have been loving is honey in my coffee. I just look forward to it so much and I only do it on the weekends during the week. I mean, I've mentioned this a million times, but I usually do protein coffee Monday through Friday. So on the weekends I switch it up and I just have been doing honey and cashew milk in my coffee. It is, it's so good. It's just so good. And I'm usually just an at home coffee drinker anyway. Ever since I got this coffee machine that you're sitting on and probably shaking. Ever since I got this coffee machine, going out to get coffee doesn't always interest me. I love the holiday drinks, so I will be definitely getting the pumpkin cream cold brew. And then I love the chestnut praline latte around the holidays. So those are drinks that I really love to go get, but a majority of the time I just love this at home coffee. It's so good. It's so good. Okay, it's the next day. I'm about to head to the grocery store, get prepped for this next week. This is actually one of my last full weeks of work before our Rosemary Beach trip. I only work a three day work week after that, but I did wanna talk about where we went last night and then we went again back there today for lunch. There used to be a bowling alley growing up by where I live. So I'm born and raised in Orlando and we used to have this bowling alley and it over time obviously became really run down and they tore it down and put up like a brand new kind of bowling alley restaurant and then there's a coffee shop and the bowling alley is really small i took a couple clips last night but it's pretty small and then they have a bar area on one side and you can kind of watch other people bowl through the window and we kind of like snacked on some of the food last night but not really like tasting it we mainly went for drinks today we went back because we wanted to try the food and i am blown away by how incredible the food is it was seriously so incredible and christian usually is such a hard critic when it comes to food and he loved everything he got highly recommend it almost is kind of strange that like a bowling alley has like such good food i think it's just it's like more than like a bowling alley i mean obviously they have like the bar and just really good food so if you live in orlando you need to go to primrose lanes it's so good great atmosphere um there isn't a lot of bowling lanes so that's hard and they are uh, you have to reserve them ahead of time really really good food so we went there for lunch and um, yeah we had such a good time last night they had a great drink menu but yeah did want to mention that so if you do live in Orlando because this past weekend was the soft opening for it highly highly recommend just even if you just go for food like not even to go bowling anyways I'm gonna head to the grocery store I don't really have a big grocery list planned out a couple dinners for this week and obviously meal prepping. Mm -hmm. 